Quentin Tarantino, the movie maker, doubling down this morning, saying he is shocked at the backlash after he called cops murderers. Yeah, I was surprised. I was under the impression I was an American and that I had First Amendment rights and there was no problem with me going to uh, an anti-police brutality uh, protest and uh, and speaking my mind. And uh, just because I was at an anti-police uh, uh, br uh, brutality protest doesn't mean I'm anti-police. They, uh, uh, they would rather start arguments with celebrities than examine uh, the concerns put before them by a citizenry that has uh, lost uh, trust in them. Really? Is that true? Joining us right now is former D.C. homicide detective and Fox News contributor Rod Wheeler. Rod, is that true uh, what uh, Quentin Tarantino just said there, that uh, the people of America have lost trust in the cops? No, that's not true at all. I think most Americans support police. <clears throat> There's a small segment in the population, as we know, that's anti-police. And then you have individuals such as Quentin Tarantino and Jamie Foxx and a few other of those Hollywood A-listers that want to continue to spew this hateful rhetoric. You know, Jamie Foxx used the term the other day. He said all of the haters need to stop hating on Quentin, right? right. Well, if you really think about it, Steve, it was Quentin that started the hating. And he wasn't just at that rally just to support the folks there. He was there encouraging the crowd to be sure. violent. He was there encouraging the crowd to be anti-police. So it is what it is. And really, my message to Tarantino is just shut the hell up so we don't have to listen to him anymore. Amen to that. Uh, something, But he said, look, I'm shocked at the backlash because I thought I had First Amendment rights. He also said, and I want your point of view on this, he said that the police brutality, which is what they're talking about, police brutality is from white supremacy. Hmm. What okay. do you think about that? Great. All right. So let's blame this now on white supremacy as well. You know, it must be something in the water out there in California it has these A-listers thinking that they know all about all of these topics. This is not a movie, um, Steve. Tarantino needs to understand this is not a movie. This is real life. There's people that's truly hurting in some certain communities, yeah. and the police is really trying hard to bridge that gap. And what he says and others out there in Hollywood right. is not helping the situation at all. Rod, real quickly, many police departments have called for a boycott of his movies. Do you think that's going to work? You know, I think it is. And you know what? The more he talks, the worse it's going to be for him. Because now this message is resonating throughout the country yeah. with police that we need to boycott this guy's movies. All right. Rod Wheeler, join us from our nation's capital. Rod, thank sure. you very much. Thank you, Steve. Good seeing you.